Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is the day that we are bringing this to a close. Not the whole episode, but we're bringing this series to a close. In this series, we've been talking about the ways that you can be able to inject meaning and purpose into a job that you hate. One way or another, sometimes you will find yourself stuck. Stuck in a place that you don't like. And you're supposed to keep working. Maybe you're stuck there because you're afraid that if you walk out, you're going to be jobless. And uh, when you're jobless, you don't have money to take care of you and to pay your bills. So you are primarily staying there to work so that you can get money to pay your bills. And you hate. So how do you rectify that thing? How do you rectify the fact that you hate that place? If you find yourself in a job that you hate, what are some of the ways that you can be able to do to inject meaning and to inject purpose into that? That's what we're discussing in these episodes. Today, let us bring it to a close. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Number one, if you hate the job that you're working at today, if you wanted to rectify it, find out the vision of that organization and seek to serve the vision so that the way, the philosophy that you're using to serve is not necessarily to get earning or to earn or to get paid, but to transform the world. Number two, play by your strength. Navigate in that organization so that you can find a way that you are dominant skills, your most dominant skills, your most dominant talent and gifts are being actually used to solve problems and create things and make transformation in this world through that organization. You, if you do that, you will have injected meaning into your life. Number three, determine. Just make a determination that I hate it, yes, But you will catch me dead doing things without excellence. In other words, number three, inject excellence. Put excellence in what you're doing. To the dregs of the details, just be known as the man of excellence in what you're doing. This is counterintuitive. It has got nothing to do with your feelings. Put your feelings aside. Put them aside and do work excellently. Number four, Prepare yourself for your purpose. You know for sure that this is not your destiny. Therefore, as we said, you work with with, with um, excellence at this particular job. Work with excellence, knowing that it is a stepping stone to where you're going. It is not it. It is a stepping stone to where you're going. And then we have said, number six number five if you find yourself in a job that you hate probably you're disorganized so number six or whatever get organized get organized at it that is number five get organized number six we said go and get some coaching let someone coach you let someone teach you let someone talk to some counselor you know, sometimes it needs that because that's where you're spending all your life. You're spending all your life at that particular job. Get someone to coach you. Number seven, I think, what did we say you do? You need to get some rest. Go and rest. Go and rest. Stop being stuck in a place and you are tired. The more tired you are, the more you are starting to hate that particular place. I, change is as good as a rest so move out 
you take your leave days, rest on the weekends, rest during the days, uh, the weekdays, and, and so on. Just rest. Don't be tired. Today, even as we come to a close of this, you can inject meaning into a job that you hate by literally deciding to go on an adventure, on an attitude adventure. You are reading too much into this, right? Release your attitude and smile and just say, I am going to be as carefree as possible as far as this is concerned. And I am going to have fun and adventure at this job. This is an internal release. This is an internal resolve. This is geared towards helping your internal working, your inner game, more than it is to, you know, change the outside or the environment in which you're working at or change the bosses. Did you know Victor E. Frankl told us that nobody can force you to be sad. You can decide to be happy. It is a choice. It's, he says that happiness is the last freedom that somebody can ever take out of you. They can take your mom, they can kill your aunties and your mom, your, your parents and your kids, but they cannot take happiness away from you. It is your choice. And I know I cannot relate with that because I was never in a concentration camp. I don't know how it is like, but this man was there. And he is writing to us and he's telling us in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, he is telling us that the last freedom it is to choose your own way. And that's what I am asking us to do in this episode, even as we're coming to a close of this series. We have been talking about how to inject meaning into a job that you hate. Choose today that you will have fun. Go on an adventure of attitude an attitude adventure what is an attitude adventure it is to choose to be happy regardless of whatever circumstance or situation that you find yourself in it is not to be controlled with your feelings it is not to be controlled with the circumstances and the situations that you find yourself in today it is actually to do the exact opposite that your boss is a mess, your boss is trying to mess you up and trying to mess your identity and trying to mess your trajectory at work and there are some of those bosses. What do you do? You can either get scared and get sucked into that negative energy or you can smile and carefree because you know if I lose this job I've lost it, if I don't lose this job I've got it. I mean it's not the end of the world. This carefree attitude is what I'm advocating for. I know that I got this uh, tinge of this some time back when I was jobless and I didn't have a job to do. And I had attended interviews and uh, put on masks and so on. You know, when we're talking about putting on a mask, those things that they normally train people in interviews. They say, oh, you're supposed to be smiling when you're meeting people. You're supposed to shake their hands and... So they just teach us to be totally not ourselves when we're attending those interviews. I had done that and nothing was forthcoming. And also I had stayed at home jobless in such a way that I I was hungry. I had known what hunger was. You know, I had known uh, what despondency was. I had known what being threatened to be thrown out of the house that you've not paid rent was. I had known all these kinds of trouble. And these are the troubles that we are normally are afraid of when we are at work, especially when we're going through stuff. So what do we choose to do? We choose to be carefree. That come what may, I'm not going to die. The worst that can do, the, the worst that can that can happen is for me to die. Even if my boss fires me because of malice and so on, I'm not gonna die. So I am going to be at my best attitude. I am going to be at my best behavior. I am going to be having a smile on my face. 
I'm going to put my best foot forward. I'm going to go on an attitude adventure at this place of work. And I'm going to do the absolute best that I can be able to do. I know that there are feelings of hate. That I'm, I'm going to put those feelings of hate aside. And I'm going to walk into my job loving it. I'm going to dare myself on an adventure of a changed positive attitude. And I'm going to work with it. Come what may. That's how you inject meaning into your life, into the job that you hate, probably. Ladies and gentlemen, there are very many other ways that you can be able to do, but I've just given you those so that you can be able to use them. Now, if none of these things are working, why don't you quit? (laughs) Why are you still there? Honestly, I know quitting is not a good proposition right now. But let me tell you something. Staying there when you still hate that job is doing you a great disservice. Consider walking out and quitting. And when you've quit, life is going to teach you a lesson. You will never want to go through that lesson again, but you will forever be grateful for that particular lesson in life. In fact, chances are that you might look back at that moment where you quit your job that you hated and you went through stuff in life for lack of a job and you found that that was the best decision you ever made and that was the catalyst for the rest of the success of your life well that was motivational don't take it as if it's an advice but as if it's an inspiration tomorrow we're going to start a whole new series but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.